Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. In this video, I'm going to show how to change Windows Server 2019 evaluation mode to full mode and then activate. How to activate, okay? So, if you can see in the lower right corner, the message that Windows Server is in evaluation mode. And then in here, in configuration, you're going to see the Windows is in, uh, Windows Server 2019 data center evaluation is in evaluation. That's why uh, here uh, says Windows is activate. So we are mm, we are going to change to full mode and then we are going to activate. It, okay. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to open the TST file. This is the command that we have to run on, on command prompt as administrator to change from evolution mode to full mode. So let's do that. You have to run it as administrator. Copy and paste and press the enter key and let's wait. We have to wait here almost two minutes or or four minutes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The pro the the comma has finished. It and is requesting to restart the Windows Server, okay? Uh, when the Windows Server is, uh, is going to restart, um, the Windows Server has has to to apply some changes and um, you have to wait in that process almost two or five minutes, okay? Okay, it's restoring. Okay, the Windows Server has finished the process, the retiring process. So I'm going to put my password or time my password. Okay, let's wait. Okay, I'm going to close the server manager, the Windows Server Manager. Um, as you can see in the lower right corner, uh, the message that said uh, that Windows was in evaluation mode has disappeared. So I'm going to click on configuration and then click on update and security and then click on activation. As you can see, uh, the edition is Windows Server 2019 data center without the password evaluation. Okay. Um, there is a test below in red color that the Windows Server it is in activate. So let's activate Windows Server. I'm going to close the Windows activation. I'm going to <coughs> open download the download folder here is the folder of the program that 
I'm going to use to activate Windows Server. Okay, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Okay, just a second. I'm going to open the TST file that, that has the password that is going to request the program. Okay. Remember, you have to run the program as administrator. Okay, okay. Okay, copy and paste. Oh, oh okay. Um I forgot. Uh, please um disable the antivirus because it's going to detect the program as a malware or virus, okay? Just a second. Defender. Okay, and as you can see, it's going to to block the the program and and delete it. So I'm going to change the setting of the antivirus to disable, disable, and disable. Okay, let's check. Is disabled. Okay, as you can see, the antivirus delete the the program. I'm going to unseat the program again. Just a second. Extract. Yeah. Replace all. Okay. And let's do it again. Room administrator. Okay, the program is running, and you can close the this. There are some options in this file. Is is just close it. Okay, um, you're going to make click or click on activation button, and then you're going to click on activate Windows, and we have to wait here to the program finish the process or um, the activation process so um, it's going to connect to this server to get a, vol uh, a volume uh, volume license from that server that is the the way to activate windows server 2019 data center edition or standard edition okay that um, as you can see the um, the process are finished and the product is successful activate. So um, this message is going is telling you that if that is going to create a task schedule to check the activation every ten days. Okay, I'm going to say yes and let's wait. As uh, you can see a. Uh, uh, here and the task schedule reactivation have been created and wind uh, window every 10 days it's going to check every 10 days that windows is activate okay i'm going to close the um, the programs i'm going to clean windows then configuration and then update and security and then on activation as you can see the Windows Server 2019 data center is activated with uh, with the process that we run a few seconds ago. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please leave some comment. Um, I'm going to help you if you have any doubt to activate Windows Server. Mm, see, mm, see you 
on the next video. Have a nice day.